What's it like learning Japanese in Japan? When、well, this video, I'll talk about just that. So, if you're moving to a new country, I recommend learning some of that language, especially if it's a useful language. And they, there's many, many people speaking it, or you plan on going back to that country, maybe living there one day.、Um, so, I was able to move to Japan, and I was going to be there for two years. So, I always wanted to learn Japanese, but growing up in school, I was really bad at learning languages in, in school. So, I learned a little bit of Spanish in school. My Spanish is really bad. I mean, my Japanese isn't that great either, but I was able to learn. Living in Japan, I was one, I was motivated to do it. So I, I downloaded all these apps and I would study different things. And I got all these books and kids' books and tried to lean, he- read hiragana, katakana, and kanji. And I was one, very motivated to learn the language because one, I had many people to talk to in the language. And two, I was living in the country, so I had many opportunities to actually practice speaking the language with the locals. And so Learning, non traditionally, learning the language there with the locals, basically just conversational and very poor Japanese. But I learned a lot more and became a lot more confident and comfortable speaking the language while living in Japan and actually speaking it with locals versus sitting in a classroom for five years or something trying to learn some conversational language and then. Going to the country and practicing a little bit, I was just so much more comfortable speaking what little Japanese I could speak、um, in Japan. And you know, I still can speak a little bit my, my Japanese. I've, I've been studying a little bit, been focusing more on Russian right now. But say I moved back to Japan、uh, you know, for a year or something, maybe I get a house there, or who knows. I will probably spend a lot more time learning Japanese. Maybe I'll go to a schooling where I can go eight or ten hours a day. and、um, And just really hammer down on the language and try to get my certificate so I can, I can you know, speak the language for, for jobs or for translating or for whatever it is, or just to you know, be able to communicate with my family members. And every time I go back to Japan, it'll just improve and get better and better. But if you, you, know, if you don't practice it, if you don't use it, you definitely lose it. So it's good to have friends. And family that you can talk to in the language that you're learning or that you kind of speak, so that way you can continue to improve it or keep it alive. So,、um, I don't know, that's just been like my experience learning Japanese in Japan. I think it's much easier to learn a foreign language in a foreign country, and you just, it's just so much easier because if you are comfortable enough or willing to get outside of your comfort zone and talk to complete strangers and say hello in Japanese and whatnot, they'll be like, They'll be super surprised and they say, Oh, this, this white person, this American's trying to speak my language. That's interesting. And they'll try to talk back to you and maybe they'll speak English to you first. You know, you can continue to try to speak in Japanese and just practice it. And maybe, you know, they don't speak any English, so that's great. You'll have to practice it. So it's like, it's just, I think, so much better to learn the language that you're studying with people who are native speakers or in a country where they speak that language because. You get so much more practice, you learn so much more. And for me, I just, I'm not very good at staying focused. I'm not a very intelligent person. So it's, it's easier for me to learn these things and do these things while I'm in the country,、um, you know, trying to study the language. So、um, yeah, that's been you know, what it's like learning Japanese in Japan. Hopefully, this, this video has been helpful. Hopefully, you guys go to Japan if you haven't been there already. And this has been NST, Never Stop Traveling. Please like, comment if you want to see more videos. Subscribe and hit that bell icon. Alright, guys, peace out. NST, never stop traveling.